Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video and from the title you can see that today we will be recreating a YouTuber, well at least one of my favorite YouTubers, makeup look. And you know what, I'm just going to give you a hint. I know the name is in the description box but it, and so it's only just right that we do a proper introduction. Hi guys and okay that's not how she is oh my gosh what hi guys and welcome back to my channel so it's monday which means it's murder makeup and mystery monday she doesn't have to deal with these things she does not have to deal with these interruptions friend hi guys so today's monday which means it's murder mystery and makeup monday shana sha shana sha shana sha sha shana sha I am going to be recreating the look that she did on her channel just Monday, this Monday gone. The last video that she posted, yeah. That's the look I'm going to be going for. And because I did this hair tutorial with the early 2000s in mind and she wore two butterfly clips or four, two pinks and two blues. And I was like, you know what? She knows, she knows, she knows, she knows, but look at so she usually uses brushes for everything and I don't see her using her hand and in her video she started with her eyebrows already done so as you can see mine are done they're looking very arched because she has arched eyebrows okay so let me just shut up and get into her video get into her get into my video oh my God. videos she tells a mystery story sometimes a crime story sometimes it's a solved story sometimes it's unsolved and so today just to honor her, I'm going to tell you guys a story of my own. Okay, so in this video, she she didn't list any primer down below. So she just goes in with a foundation. And for her foundation, she actually used a concealer and she used the Too Faced. Let's make sure I get their name correctly. She used the Too Faced concealer and she used that as her foundation. So in this video, I'm going to be using my pretty vulgar concealer and this is the undercover concealer in the shade 124 shade for days so a couple of years ago when um my husband and i were just dating we decided to go out one valentine's day on a date and so what would usually happen is i would catch a taxi and go and pass by him and pick him up and then we will go to wherever we decide to go for our date right that's what we usually do all the time and this always works out i can't remember what year it was but the year we decided you know what we're just gonna meet in town where were we going i think we were going to watch a movie i think we were going to watch a movie yeah so we were just gonna meet in town and catch a bus to wherever to, to whatever I, I really cannot remember where we're going he wanted me to catch a taxi and I was like, man, it's all right. I can meet you in town. It's okay. I'm a big girl. I can do this. Yeah, it was it was around 7 in the evening. But I was like, I'm a big girl or 6.30. I'm a big girl. Nothing is going to happen. Don't worry. Don't worry. Before we continue, the next step of her makeup routine is her concealer. And she uses two concealers. She always double conceals. That's one thing I've noticed about it. She always double conceals. So the two concealers she's using are the Jouer. The Jouer concealer Jouer listen I'm not rich enough to say this Jouer okay um, and she's using the Tarte Shape Tape concealer in the shape shade in the shade light why can't I speak gosh but for me I am going to be going with a cheaper alternative and I'm using the LA Girl concealer in the shade Fawn and the Koki concealer I haven't used this in so long so I'm using the Koki concealer in the shade medium beige so let's see where she puts her concealer uh, the first set of concealer she just put it under her eyes and then she blends it out with a sponge let me make sure i'm putting i'm, I'm putting an adequate amount so there's this man that used to be around where i live and he kind of like a handyman you know you know there are some people that just roam the streets and you can just call them to help you do work and whatnot so yeah that's what this man usually does and i usually see him and i just cross the road when i see him because there's some people that just are unstable and i'm just not gonna get myself mixed up with that kind of thing like i for my own safety 
let me just keep my distance okay so this night i am walking out to go get a bus to go meet chamari and he just appears out of nowhere so i wasn't the only person walking out there is a lot of companies that are at the back of where i live it's an industrial site so there were people that were heading home after work so you know i felt i felt safe walking out why am i just not speaking faster but then i i i saw him from the corner of my eye and he was just walking and i saw that there was this kind of knife in his hand so my girl me friends i started walking faster and i kept looking back and he was just walking faster behind me so we're going in with the next set of concealer and this one she puts all over she, so she puts it where let me see she puts it here and i'm so scared okay we're just not gonna put as much as she does because her skin is amazing and mine is not as amazing i keep looking back you know making sure that he's not getting close to me and then i approach i reach this group of men and you know as a young woman you see a group of men and you you're just so afraid like you you want to cross the road you want to cross go the other side but i felt like this was my safest bed i was just so scared that i walked in the center of these group of men they were walking out we were all walking in the same direction i just walked in the middle of them like i didn't even care i just walked in and just forced myself right in the center of them so they were all surrounding me and it was like um a mixture it was it was mostly east indian and i said he has a knife and one of the men heard me and they looked back and they saw him it seemed like these men were carpenters so they had all of their you know work tools with them and they said okay you just keep walking and they pulled out their tools okay the sun is coming in so let me just and they're like yo what, what's your problem you know like and they kept they said they would walk with me and i kept walking with them because we were almost out anyways oh my gosh my face looks really really bright and they stood with me until i got bus to go to town and guys that was the scariest like i was sitting in this bus shaking because this man had this knife and he was so close to me like i i could feel him right behind me every time i was walking and you know as a young lady it's so scary it's it's so sad you, you can't freely walk in this place like you just always have to be afraid always have to be looking behind you to make sure that nobody's there to do you something that was my scary experience like i don't think anything else scary has ever happened to me like she's moving on to do her contour she's using a scott barnes contour and sculpt palette so we will use the pure sculptor and this is also a this is a highlight on contour palette but we're going to use these two shades here a brush kind of like this she used to do her contour so that is what we're going to go we're going to use the shade founder i don't know why this palette is so dirty but we're going to use the shade founder and we're going to go in with this and we're going to contour with this so yeah like it's so sad that the world we're living in as women whether young old or what we just can't catch a break we just can't walk on the road freely we always have to be looking back and you know like it's so sad that men are able to walk without fear because we're humans just like men we just can't catch a break we just we just can't it's just so sad i'm just so afraid of this eye in my eyes because mm, under my eyes i think they're creasing it's creasing already but you know my skin doesn't look bad like my skin has really been working with me and i'm all over the place in what i'm talking about here <laughs> yeah. but that's what we do here we just chit chat chit chat let me know down below like what it was your scariest experience just being a woman like so now she goes in with blush and she uses her finger and she just taps this on and it's like a light pink blush but i don't have a blush that color do i have a lipstick that could work for my blush let me see Wait, where is it okay it's a very light pink blush but you know for my skin tone we can't be using something that's extremely light so we're gonna use this lipstick from Christoph Buckle yeah and this is in the shade 
a renaissance so i'm going to take this on my finger like she did we're even going to use the same finger i'm just going to rub this and then we are going to tap this into my cheek okay okay i think i took a little bit too much so now let me tell you guys about the time i almost got myself kidnapped well not almost got myself kidnapped like i put myself into a situation where i could have been kidnapped but thank the lord for his blessings that the person did not have any bad intentions and my mother saw me okay let me tell you all about this thing so when i was small my and my i had an aunt she used to work at ddl she took me to her workplace once well she used to take me there a couple of times and she would introduce me to her co-workers and there was this man that i remembered his face because that's the only way i could have put myself into this situation you know there was this man i thought he was friendly and so on so one afternoon i was on my way home from school and i please know that at this point i was about 10 11 12 I was very much younger than 13, but I could make myself home because, you know, in those days, your children, you know, were smart enough to go home and the world was just not as scary as it is today. Wow, this lipstick has made an amazing blush. Ooh, I was on my way home and I was walking to go get a bus and this man pulled up and I saw his car. I saw him, right? And he was like, Oh, hi, good afternoon. How are you doing? You're Sususu's niece, right? And I'm like, yeah, you work at my aunt's workplace. And he said, yes. And then he was going in the same direction that I was going to head home. So he said, oh, do you want to drop home? Listen to me. Let me tell y'all. She's now powdering her face. She's powdering everywhere that she concealed. And she, the powder that she uses is the Laura Mercier Loose Setting Powder. So we're going to be using the Pretty Vulgar Translucent Powder. Before she sets her under eyes, she goes in with her powder, with her sponge again, just to remove any creasing. Then she goes in with her powder on a sponge. And I do not have a sponge. He asked me if I wanted a drop home. Let me tell you guys. The first thought that came to me was, you better ass don't get in the car. I heard my mother say it. In my mind, I heard the words, you better ass don't get in the car if you know what's good for you, right? But did I listen to that good and faithful voice? Did I listen to what my mother said? No, I didn't listen to my mother's voice. I was like, yeah, no problem. Because I was convinced. So she bakes. And so we are going to be baking today. I convinced myself that my mother will not say anything because she will say, oh, it's my it's my aunt's work friend and you know, he's okay and there is, it's a safe situation. So she is now going and she's beginning to do her eyeshadow. And the shade she uses first is a skin tone shade. We're gonna go back in with the with this pure cause the pure sculptor palette and we're gonna use this lighter shade and it's called inventor so we're gonna use that shade to just all over my lids okay good so back to the story i heard myself say don't you dare get in the car but the girl convinced herself to get into that car and what did i do i got into that car so on our way up we ha he said he wanted to stop by the market to buy some stuff and I was like, yeah, no problem. You do what you have to do. You do you, you do you. So I'm sitting in the back seat, right? And my mother worked just a corner before the market. So when he stopped, he left me in the vehicle and he went to do what he needed to do. I saw my mother. And because I convinced myself that there was nothing wrong with the situation that I was in. And that I was like, mommy. 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 Mommy, my mother had spin and look at me. I know in that moment she's like, that can't be my child. No, that can never be my child sitting in that vehicle. That cannot be my child, my daughter, sitting in that vehicle. So I call in her, mommy, mommy. She look at me. She raced across this road. So the color that Bailey used on her lids is a silver color and she just used her fingers and just spread it all over her lids. All, all the way up to her eyebrows. So we're going to use from the Violet Voss Crystals, Sugar Crystals palette. 
we are going to go in with this shade sugar crystals which is this shade right here we're going to go in with this shade all over my lid so she came across the road and she's like Mitch, what the hell are you doing here what the what are you doing in this and i was like oh no it's okay it's it is my um it's my aunt's workmate like like if i'm supposed to be in this situation in the first place there there am i trying to convince my mother that it's okay so he came back and he's like and i was like oh this is my mommy and she's like hello sir um thank you but um i will collect her and he's like no i could drop y'all so mommy said okay no problem we came he dropped us to our road here so we had to walk in we jump out that vehicle and my mother's like don't you ever ever go into a vehicle like that ever do you know that the tongue licking i get I'm very lucky I didn't get a licking. I can't even remember. Honestly, I can't remember if my mother, if, if I get a licking or not. But that could have turned out much worse than it was. This eyeshadow is just doing it. Yeah, especially in the world that we're living in today. You have to, we have to thank God. I have to thank God that in that situation, that man, he had no bad intentions. Well, I don't know because my mother saw me. So I was taken out of the situation, but we got to thank him for his blessings. You know, I might not have been here today. So this is just my warning to you. Please don't get in vehicles where you don't know the people, where you just meet the person one time and you think because your family know this person that it is a safe situation because I tell you, it's not a safe situation. Okay. Oh, she is pressing in the powder. Oh, she, she would have gone back in with the translucent powder and she just pressed this into place i must be looking hella scary oh my gosh i just saw what i look like we are going to go in with this brush from complex culture and this is a concealer brush oh wow so we're just gonna take a little bit of powder we're not gonna take much just a little bit a little bit under our eyes and just tap this in did she use a liquid brush wait she just gone in with highlighter and she using a kind of silver highlighter to go with her eyes okay so we're gonna go in with a silverish highlighter keep sleeping you don't have to wake up now oh my god <laughs> it wasn't me it was not me so y'all don't take it me the sephora palette has a silver highlighter so we're gonna go in with that the place is getting darker because the rain is setting up um so as you hear we have we have a guest here she now goes in with her highlighter and as i said she used a silver highlighter and we will be using this silver highlighter from my sephora illuminating palette she uses a brush like this And she also puts over her eyebrows. She just glows. She just glows. But if you guys like murder and mystery, then I would suggest you go and subscribe to her channel because she is just so entertaining. She goes in with her blush, a powder blush this time. And because, and so we are going to do the same. So the blush we are going to go in with is the Wonder Beauty blush and this is the trip for two okay palette and we're gonna go in with this pinky blush this is just to set the cream blush good and then we will go in with some mascara because that is it so we're gonna go in with the grande drama intense thickening mascara with castor oil i haven't used this in a while so we are gonna go in with that you know what it's not that bad it's not that bad maybe it looks worse on camera I think it looks worse on camera <laughs> but y'all be nice to me even if it looks worse on camera then she goes in with a kind of nudish pinky but not pinky orange shade on her waterline so that is what we are going to do and she does this she doesn't she's not very precise with it so we're going to use the dose of colors um sassy sienna's palette and we are going to go in with the shade 
brassy this shade right here brassy your girl is trying here with her one hand so she goes in with a black liner lip liner and i for the life of me cannot find my black lip liner so i'm gonna go in with the araceli black gel liner and we're just gonna line my lips with this and then she went in with some pop 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 wow um she went in with a purple lipstick but we are going to go in with a purple matte lipstick like there's a difference she's a stick so this is the nx makeup lip shine lip gloss this is a lip gloss could never be Ooh. oh my gosh this came together in the end okay it came together in the end let me spritz my face to set my face i'm gonna be using the power up oh i didn't tell you guys what she used on her lips okay so for her lips she used the mac lip liner in the shade night moth and the lipstick mac lipstick in the shade rebel and there's no setting spray let me set my face maybe this will help things look better that is it um how do you think i look i'm gonna put her photo next to me of what she looks like thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed this video it was all over the place but that is what happens here chaos all over the place miss so have a faithfully blessed day and be careful bye, bye.